I made taking dating seriously in 2020 a point on my vision board. And the universe sent the wrong message. I don't know what to tell you guys anymore. <laughs> hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today is Wednesday, aka Hump Day. And I'm Coco. So this is another episode of Courting Coco. So I've gotten so many calls, texts, DMs, comments asking when the next episode of Courting Coco is going to be. When are you going to update us, sis? I don't know what you guys want me to update you on because ain't nothing going on over here. I actually have the nerve to be quarantined, locked down, and inside, and still not really entertaining people. I've come to the terms with the fact that it's pretty much over for me. I'm going to be single forever. I promise, after the Rona, I'm going on every day. If you ask, the answer is yes. I'm going. That actually almost kind of sounded believable this time. It's like, I'm getting better at this lying to you guys thing. Rona has definitely changed the dating game in my opinion. If you're not in a relationship, married, or quarantined with Bay, we're pretty much all dating long distance. I feel like this time is what separates the real from the fake. This is like the Olympics of dating. And I know for some of you it's really a nightmare because all you have is your word. I know. Conversation. Oh my god. It requires more effort, more interest, and another C word that you guys love to freak out over. Commitment. You actually have to be committed to wanting to get to know the person. Unless, of course, you're banking on a post rona rock, which in that case, get a hobby and stay inside. Forever. This is going to be the biggest test of effort for us all. We need good morning texts, DMing memes on Instagram, emailing poems, FaceTime calls, quote me on Facebook, Google Chat, Google Hangout, Skype, Zoom. Shoot, send me an evite for a virtual date. Instacart me some taco ingredients. I'm even gonna temporarily lift the ban on sending pictures. We gotta get through this. Single people. We are at war with a virus that is attacking our future. Do you want to live like this forever? And don't be one of those people going back and forth asking her what she's doing every 20 minutes. She's doing the same thing she was doing before. Eating again and watching Netflix. Ain't nothing else to do. And just remember, just because you're doing nothing doesn't mean you have nothing better to do. You don't got to answer every message, sis. You don't have to slide into every DM, bro. That's all I got for you guys for this week's episode. But definitely hit that subscribe button and make sure you tap the bell for notifications because your good sis ain't got nothing else better to do but film. So look out for the next episode. You never know. Things might get a little spicy on here. I'm going to right foot up, left foot slide into some DMs. That's a lot of my sliders on. But you never know. You never know. Comment down below and let me know how your social dating quarantine search is going. And I just want to shout out one of my favorite Instagram accounts to follow, Baydates. Every Friday night at 7.30 p.m. on Instagram, Baydates has a virtual dating auction. So if you want to get shot at, you can sign up to be a contestant. Or you can be all up in the comments shooting your shot. So make sure you have your paddle emoji ready. I'll be in the comment section every Friday night because duh. But the creator Olade just does a phenomenal job of bringing people together and helping us find love. So I'll see y'all there and I'll see y'all here. <laughs> Bye guys.